Can you hear me now? Thank you. Uh, good afternoon and welcome to San Jose State's Presidential Search Open Forum. We appreciate your attendance here today and all campus and com community members who are joining us virtually via Zoom. I am Chris Steinhauser, a member of the CSU Board of Trustees, and it's my privilege also to serve as the chair for the search committee. The meeting today will be focused on hearing from you, the students, faculty, staff, alumni, and extended community. You are all represented on this committee, but you are also represented by those who will be speaking to us today. In addition to hearing from our public speakers today, our committee members representing students, faculty, and staff will also engage with their constituents and bring this critical information back to our committee. Any member of the campus may also provide written input on the San Jose State Presidential Search website. We are here eager to hear, we're, we are eager to hear from all of you throughout this process. And we want to make sure we find the best candidate for San Jose State. Between now and into the fall semester, I and the search consultants will be working together to recruit and seek nominations and applications of highly qualified individuals. The full committee will review resumes and identify candidates to interview in October. With the final candidates meeting with the Board of Trustees at the November 2022 board meeting. At this time, I would like to have the members of the search committee and the search team introduce themselves, and I'm going to start to my left here with President Sandine. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kathy Sandine. I'm the current president of Cal State East Bay, and it's my pleasure to serve on this committee. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Angie Ortega McGee. I work in the College of Business as a resource analyst. I also serve as a CSUEU chapter president. I'm co-chair to our Committee on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, as well as on my college committee for the same purpose. I was nominated to represent all staff, and that is my joy to do. I've been on campus for 31 years, and I hope we find a great president to stay for a really long time. Good afternoon. My name is Romy Zabalius. I'm one of yours. I'm a professor of German on this campus. But for the past couple of years, I had the honor and the privilege to serve on the Board of Trustees. And I've been on this campus for 27 years and experienced 10 presidents or interim presidents. So I'm excited to be part of this. I'm Jolene Kester. I am the interim chancellor of the California State University System. This is my fourth official day and probably most important work I've done so far. So I'm very pleased to be here. Hello, everybody. I'm Sharanya. I am a third year student here at SJSU, so represent the student perspective here. Um, I'm a political science major, minoring economics, computer science, and I've served on student government as well as represented our students in Greek life on the Panhellenic Council. Hi, I'm, my name is Edward Oates. I was a San Jose State graduate, 1968, in mathematics. I um, sit on the Tower Foundation board, which does uh, fundraising and at, in an advisory council for the president of the university and also uh, San Jose State uh, math degree uh, managed to catapult me to help found Oracle in 1977. Hi, I'm, I'm Cheryl Ehrman. I am the dean of the College of Engineering and I represent uh, in my role here the deans and vice presidents and, uh, and come August I will be a San Jose State parent. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Angel Rios, Deputy City Manager with the City of San Jose, and more importantly, a graduate of San Jose State, so go Spartans. Good afternoon. My name is Chrissy Chang. I'm a graduate from San Jose State University, and I'm currently the president of the San Jose State Alumni Association. Hello, everyone. My name is Koi, and I'm currently a graduate student here at San Jose State in Material Engineering. And I'm honored to be here serving here as one of the student representatives in the committee. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Nidhi Mahendra. I'm a professor and chair of the Department of Communicative Disorders and Sciences at San Jose State, and I represent SJSU faculty on this committee. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Kartika Shashikumar, and I'm a professor in political science. 
and I am serving here as acting chair of the Academic Senate. Alison McKee, who's the chair of the Senate, will be taking this position when she returns to resume her duties at the end of this month. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Andrew Jones, Executive Vice Chancellor and General Counsel for the CSU System. Good afternoon, everyone. Evelyn Nazario, Vice Chancellor for Human Resources, and it's a pleasure to be here today. Um, good afternoon. I'm Rod McDavis. I'm the Managing Principal of AGB Search and part of the search team assisting with this search. Good afternoon. My name is Michelle Kiss. I am the Chief of Staff to Interim Chancellor Kester, and it's a pleasure to be here. And thank you all for being here. Good afternoon, everyone. Soka Hewitt, Deputy Chief of Staff at the Chancellor's Office. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. Also serving on the search committee are Trustee Ortiz Morfitt, Trustee Rodriguez, Dr. Frazier, and Councilmember Esparza, who are unable to join us in person today. On behalf of the CSU Board, I would like to thank you for all serving on this critical, important committee. And I would like now to turn it over to Interim Chancellor Kester to speak about confidentiality. Good, after everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. And again, thank you for being here to help in this important process for San Jose State University's next presidential leader. I'd like to speak with all of you directly about confidentiality in the search process and the reasons that we approach this search with such strict confidentiality. Because of the unique nature of this position, both candidates and the trustees expect to conduct the search in a confidential manner. We do this because we have the lives on, and futures of the candidates in our hands as we do this search. We owe all of these candidates the professional and personal courtesy of confidentiality. Simply put, many of the best candidates will not consider engaging in a search that is done with the non-confidential process. I think we all would agree that we seek the very best next president. Thus, we need a strong, deep, and diverse pool of candidates from which to select this next president. To build a vibrant pool, we want to include people who are at the top of their profession in order to attract those at the top of their profession requires confidentiality. Many good people cannot disclose their interest in a position elsewhere because doing so risks damage elsewhere. The elsewhere is in terms of those who work with them, their bosses, their boards, the representatives of their constituencies. The person we appoint is one person. Morally and ethically, we cannot hurt others' careers and change the course of their lives as we appoint the one. I do know and acknowledge that there are other points of view that some of you sitting in this room and who will speak to us will express alternative points of view about how to conduct this process. We do have experience in the search climate that exists and thus the decision to conduct this search in this way has been taken. I would ask you to also understand that this is not a secret search. We do conduct the searches in a confidential manner for the many reasons that I have just outlined. But there is a presidential advisory committee that is going to be fully engaged. The members of that committee represent the key constituencies of San Jose State University. There will be full transparency 
within that committee. They will know and review the credentials of every single individual who expresses an interest in this position. We're all eager to hear from you today. We're pleased to see you with us. Let me now turn it back over to Chair Stenhauser. Thank you. The search committee will spend the next two hours or so hearing from anyone in the audience who would like to speak and to give comment. And this is our first public forum that we're also doing in person and Zoom, a hybrid. Speakers, please think about the challenges and the opportunities facing San Jose State in the coming years. What are those professional qualifications, experiences, and personal attributes that the next president should possess to successfully lead San Jose State? Please do not mention specific individuals. We will begin with those speakers that are present in person who wish to address the search committee. Um, in a few minutes, we'll be asking you to please come up and line up uh, at the two microphones that are up here. For those who are registered participants providing comments via Zoom, those speakers will be called by name by Mrs. Matthews at the appropriate time. When your name, when your name is called, please unmute your audio. And when it, uh, when it is your turn, please speak to state your name and affiliation with San Jose State. Each speaker will be given up to two minutes. We want to hear from as many speakers as possible. When your time has been concluded, we ask that you please yield to the next speaker to begin their comments. If any speaker is unable to share their live comments with the committee today, you may submit your written feedback via a survey link from the San Jose State Presidential Search webpage. Please note that the members of the committee may periodically look down as we listen and take notes, but we are actively listening to your comments. Staff will also be taking copious notes throughout the process and be sharing those with the committee. Before we begin with the public comment of the people who are here in the forum, in person first, I'd like to turn it back to our interim chancellor, Kestra, for a few comments. Before we begin to hear from the community, I would like us all to take a moment to thank the members of the San Jose State community who are here representing all of you and giving of their valuable time, energy, and intellect in order to assure that we select the very best president we can for your university. I thank all of you for being here. As the chair has said, this meeting is being webcast live and then it will be web archived. Not only are you gonna be speaking to the committee, but past experience suggests to us that you're going to be speaking to the next president of San Jose State <coughs> University. Potential candidates are likely watching live and those potential candidates will also likely watch the web archive version of this. Please keep that in mind as you share your important comments with the committee today. I've sat with candidates in the last several years as they have watched the forums for other presidential searches in the CSU. What they hear is very important to them in terms of deciding whether or not to be a candidate and also to make a judgment about whether or not their qualifications fit what this campus says they need and want in a new president. We look forward to hearing what you have to say. Chair Stenhauser. Thank you, Chancellor Kester. Um, with that, we're going to proceed with the um, comments from individuals who are here in the room. So if you would proceed to the microphones and um, there's no formal order. So who would ever like to start first, please come up and then I will let you know when your two minutes are up. After we've heard from comments here, we will do um, via Zoom and Mrs. Matthews will call those individuals. So anyone that wishes to speak, if you would come up to the microphone, please. Thank you. So we can have two lines forming up here, that would be great. So just state your name and then um, what group you're representing and then um, I will keep your time. So why don't we start here. I'm Monica Allen, I'm an Associate Professor of Public Health. And I'm here representing the Black Spartan Advisory Council, which is an advocacy group 
designed to deal with issues related to black life here on campus. And one of our main concerns is that this process has not yielded any black voices on the committee. This is an important constituency on campus, and this campus has a history of real problems in this community. So our concern is how our black voice is going to be centered and whether or not this process can be updated to be a more equitable process to include more voices. Thank you. Next. My name is Felicia McKee Fagans. I am the Executive Assistant and Diversity Program Specialist in our Office of Diversity. I am an alumna and I've also taught on campus before. And I am coming representing the Black Faculty and Staff Association, which I chair. We share the same issues and concerns as the Black Spartan Advisory Committee. We also would like to ensure that the meetings we have begun having with the incoming president continue so we can move forward our DEI initiatives, which are imperative for this campus, not only our community, but also the native community are very small and often left out. And we want to ensure that this uh, work that we've begun on this campus continues. Thank you so much. Next, right here. Hi, uh, my name is Chris Yang. I'm the director of the Mosaic Cross Cultural Center here at San Jose State. Um, and I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, the makeup of the committee, the selection committee, uh, particularly at San Jose State's end, and how there seems to be a lack of representation from um, either the Division of Student Affairs or the Division of Finances and Operations. Um, and while I appreciate uh, the ability and mindset of everybody on the, on the committee, it seems like there is um, a tremendous bias toward academic affairs, where even the executive representation and the staff representation on the selection committee is coming from academic affairs, meaning there are five members of academic affairs on the committee and zero members from the other divisions. Um, so I ask that the committee think about the makeup of um, what the selection committee looks like from San Jose State's end. Thank you. Thank you. Next over here, sir. Prepared statement. My name is Philip Heller. I'm an associate prof assistant professor in computer science. I'm also the president of the Jewish Faculty and Staff Association. I rise to remind the committee of their responsibility to choose a president who's committed to ethnic equality and safety for everyone. Jewish Americans have the unfortunate distinction of being the most frequent victims of domestic terrorism. Anti-Jewish activity is on the rise in all parts of the country, and I'm sorry to say that San Jose State is not exempt. From this trend. Not yet, anyway, although good leadership can take us very far in the right direction. But meanwhile, many Jewish students here don't show their Jewishness in public because they fear bullying. And just in the past six weeks, two Jewish professors faced disturbing macroaggression. One was removed from a prestigious assignment for calling out discrimination. The other had a Nazi leaflet hand delivered to their house. If we don't act, we risk seeing similar cruelty institutionalized at our university as it already is at other campuses. Our next president needs to be committed to creating a climate where intolerance is not tolerated. I hope that I don't sound harsh when I frame this statement as a reminder, not a request. It's not a request because civil rights are not a favor to be asked for, given, or withheld. Civil rights are innate but society can obstruct them. When this happens, the top leaders of institutions have a duty to stand up and speak out. You who choose our leaders have a duty to choose with this in mind. And in this spirit, I thank you for this opportunity to remind you of your duty. Thank you. Next. Hello, I'm Doug O. I've been in athletics here for 17 years. I've been a public servant in the great state of California for almost 22 years. I've been on the camp for the 17 years I've been here. We've had four permanent presidents, four interim presidents. And if I had to rearrange it because I can't say names, but one lasted 10 days, the next one 18 months, the next one three years, the next one five years. And if you do the math, if president here lasts just about two years and 20 years, that's not a very good odds of finding a good president. And of course, we've had a lot of negative press lately. We've had multiple investigations. So what, how can we possibly recruit a good president or good chancellor to come in if all these things are happening? That's my greatest concern. We need to find a better way to search for a president or we're gonna end up at the same exact spot. Um, I think the, the public has lost trust in the CSU, how it does business and finds people. 
we need to restore that trust. San Jose State was the first public university on the West Coast. Ten years established, ten years for University of California, Berkeley. We should be the flagship of the CSU, the model for public education, and not only in the state of California, but across the country. Let's make a commitment. We'll find a great president, a great chancellor, and we're not back here in two and a half years saying, well, we're, <laughs> we screwed up again. <laughs> Thank you for your time. Thank you. Next. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Sharmin Khan, and I'm a lecturer of faculty in the Department of Linguistics and Language Development. And the president is our chief executive officer. And a high priority for me is that the president have a real belief and commitment in la for labor protection. They see the labor unions, the CFA, the staff unions, as well as other unions in particular, not as a nuisance to be swatted away, but as a partner in governing. Uh, that they place high priority in improving labor management relations, which haven't been that great at this university, that the union be consulted, or unions be consulted on matters of importance, and that we have good working relationships. Secondly, in the spirit of shared governance, that faculty is perceived not subservient to administration, but as equal to administration, that the academic senate is a co-equal branch of governance that shared governance means shared decision making. And thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to you. Thank you so much. Next. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Mark Delarco. I'm the Dean of the College of Graduate Studies. Thank you all for being here. Um, <clears throat> in my opinion, the most forward thinking and uh, beneficial leadership decision that's been made in the last decade at San Jose State is to enhance our engagement as a research uh, engaged university. And uh, this was not only uh, articulated, but there were actually substantial investments made to try to support the research enterprise on this campus. And they include, just to, to mention three, uh, the uh, uh, mechanism that we call the RISCA Assign Time Program, which provides uh, opportunity for faculty workload uh, for research activities. Uh, it also includes the uh, launching of a division of research and innovation uh, led by a cabinet uh, uh, level vice president, and it also includes uh, the launching of, of my college, the College of Graduate Studies, to support our 8,000 graduate students, which as you may know is the largest number in the CSU system. So uh, I really hope that our next president will not only stay the course in moving us in this direction, but will actually be selected for uh, some level of enthusiasm to really aggressively pursue this transition, which has already been so beneficial to both our faculty and our students. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next, sir. Hi, my name is How Howard Hall. I'm in the lock shop here in the trades department. I've been here for about 14 and a half years. And when I first got here was, by what I consider, the last best president that we had. Um, I'll just go with DK. Mm -hmm. Those that have been here know who that is. And what I found outstanding about his attributes were that he took time for everybody on this campus, from the lowest custodian and grounds worker, first year faculty, all the way up to the PhD professors and everybody in between. He would listen if you had a problem. He would try to help work out what was going on, and a lot of his time on this campus was spent out walking around the campus. He knew people's names when he walked by. It, wasn't, it was high by your first name. Um, and that's a lot to learn on a campus this size with this many employees. And we're looking for, as far as I'm concerned, somebody who will listen, talk, and bring everybody to the table not just their management team, because there's a lot of mid-management and upper management here that is what I'll call stale, and they don't represent everybody's ideas on this campus. And that last great president would listen to everybody and not just his management staff, because that's who he worked with all the time. So that's what I consider to be a very key factor is someone who will listen to all of our voices. Thank you. Thank you so much. Next. Hello. My name is Anoop Kaur, pronoun she or hers, and I currently serve as the Associated Students President. Thank you all for providing this platform for me to share my thoughts. I'm going to look down at my phone for some notes. Um, 
First off, to start with personal attributes looking that I'm looking for in the next president includes communication, transparency, and openness with the campus community. Some concerns I've had include clear stewardship of student fees, shared governance issues in terms of communication before issues arise instead of notification after, healing the campus, stability in terms of leadership, and rebuilding trust, not just with the campus community, but our downtown community as a whole. Professional qualifications that Associated Students is looking for is prior experience in the CSU system, experience at diverse institutions in terms of our diverse student body, and experience at urban institutions, especially given safety concerns in downtown San Jose. Thank you for this time today. Thank you so much. Next. Hello, my name is Janet Sundrud. I am a finance systems analyst in finance and business services. I'm also the chair of the San Jose State Staff Council. Uh, when I think about the next president, I realize that they're going to have a lot of work ahead of them. We are trying to be a transformative campus while also being one of the oldest. We are innovating and yet still stuck in old processes and, and just trying to move our institution forward. Um, as part of that, what I've been noticing lately, one of our bigger issues is retention. And I think that ties to our campus culture. We need to create a sense of belonging on this campus. We need to support our employees with training. We need to focus on salary inequities. And we need to look at how we provide growth to our staff so that we can keep them here, grow them, and retain our talent. Uh, as part of this, we need a leader who is going to be a problem solver. They need to be action oriented and they need to be transparent and collaborative. Uh, I'm, it's my hope that we can continue to raise up the staff voice on this campus and really begin to support our workforce that keeps this campus operational and really support staff development. Thank you. Thank you. Next, please. please. Hello, my name is Bella Scalera. I'm a graduate student in the Department of Chicana and Chicano Studies. Um, I'm also here to represent and an intern for students, of quality students for quality education here on campus. Um, and so according to the 2020-2021 annual Title IX report, there were 11 cases of sexual misconduct involving SJSU employees that required an investigation. And of those 11, 10 employees resigned prior to the investigation's completion. In addition, there has been an astonishing number of alleged sexual misconduct cases within the CSU system, um, especially concerning administration. My concern and my organization's concern is finding a president who will hold administration, faculty, staff accountable for these um, true and alleged mis uh, sexual misconduct cases. Thank you. Thank you. Next, please. Uh, hi, my name is Matthew Spangler, and I'm a professor of performance studies and the interim chair of the film and theater department and the uh, president scholar for uh, 2021. Uh, and I would just say that the most important thing to me and a lot of rank and file faculty is that the university maintains its current focus on scholarship and creative activity, uh, specifically the RISCA assign time program, which you heard about just a moment ago. Uh, I'll talk about my own work for a moment, and then I'll uh, talk about my experience of dealing with faculty as a department chair around this issue. Uh, to my own work, uh, I do research on refugees and asylum seekers and how these communities are represented through literature and theater. Uh, I'm also a playwright. Uh, I have a play on this summer on Broadway. It's opening in July. Uh, in fact, it'll be right across the street from To Kill a Mockingbird, so you could see Aaron Sorkin's play or the play written by a San Jose State professor. Um, my plays have been staged all over the world, uh, twice on London's West End, the Dubai Opera House, Ireland, England, Canada, throughout this country. Uh, there's no way that I could do this work. I also get uh, grants from the federal government, and I just submitted my second book uh, to Syracuse University Press. And there's no way I could do this work uh, without the assigned time program. Uh, I involve students in all these activities. Uh, students have traveled with me to Ireland, London, Edinburgh uh, to see these productions and participate in these projects. Uh, to anybody who says that we're a teaching university and shouldn't be focused on research, well, that's a completely false dichotomy because the assigned time program takes me from 12 WTUs a semester of teaching to nine. I still teach. <laughs> I teach nine WTUs, and these are students who work with me uh, in these projects. So I would submit to you that I'm a better teacher at nine WTUs with an active scholarly profile than if I don't have that. 
Finally, as a department chair, uh, my uh, department overwhelmingly uh, supports this program, and we've hired a number of new people, not just in my department, but throughout the university, with the promise that they can come here and do scholarship, and I think we owe them uh, uh, that promise, uh, following through on it. Finally, I'd leave you with a last thought. If you want your faculty active at the national and international level and involving students in that work, I'd say to the new president, please keep the focus on scholarly and creative activity. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Uh, my name is, yeah, it's am fine. I audible? Yes. You're okay. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Professor Baltesh Singh Mangan, and I am uh, visiting as well as the volunteer scholar here at San Jose State. I am representing both the faculty as well as the Sikh community of uh, Silicon Valley, of which uh, I am the president. So there are few observations which I would like to bring to your knowledge, because you have a big responsibility of selecting uh, the president for this university. I have been clean closely watching this university since my two sons and two daughter-in-laws, both are graduated from the Department of Engineering here. And I owe a lot of debt for this. But I, my dreams about this university is that uh, the new president must focus on the community outreach. That is the need of the hour, because this Silicon Valley of which we are all part, this is the only university, of course, as a uh, volunteer scholar, I would propose myself to come forward to count the number of CEOs who are graduates of this uh, university and graduated from particularly the Department of Engineering as well as Business Management. So in addition to community outreach, democratization of academic and administrative bodies. I know I am coming from India and I am a new immigrant. I know that such kind of practices of a search committee in a such a democratic manner, giving a chance to everybody to speak, perhaps I would uh, pray to God that such a institution exists in India too, maybe in the coming years, we uh, may be able to do it. Last but not the least is I I, I would uh, expect the uh, new president to strengthen the Department of Engineering, which is the host to the largest number of international students. If you go by the data of the last uh, few years on which I am working also, this Department of Engineering has been struggling with some kind, there was a tail end, but there was dearth of, uh, uh, I mean, research projects and some kind of logistical support to attach that tail end with the startups. We have venture capitalists at the Stanford here, very near. If we could have some kind of this uh, entrepreneurial tail end coming out, this will be for the welfare of the Thank you, sir. Thank, you. Thank, you, Thank so. you so much. Yeah. Next, please. Good afternoon. I'm Ben Anderson, Associate Professor in Business and President and Council Member of the Gathering of Academic, Indigenous, and Native Americans at San Jose State. 
Thank you for taking the time to listen to us today. I would like to acknowledge the indigenous peoples who have a connection to this place, which is not just historic, but active and current. Despite the incredible relationship of native peoples to this place, numerous events and barriers hinder the creation of a sense of belonging and inclusion for us and the peoples and tribes and bands located both here and throughout the state. I hope you and the candidates will endeavor to consider this important group and how to welcome them here and to participate here on campus. Thank you. Next. Hi, I'm Clarissa May Columbus. I'm an alum. It's also my third day at San Jose State University in student involvement. I also worked at East Bay. Um, my concern is basically making sure our APETA community feels seen and represented, especially in a time where hate crime is so prevalent, but to also have a but to also have a president that really cares about social mobility because we are in the Silicon Valley and a lot of our students that do come through, this institution really care about lifting up not just themselves, but their family and the community. Thank you. Thank you. Next. Hello, my name is Jess Pruden. I work in student involvement as the campus programming coordinator. I won't say specifically what I'm looking for in a president, but we'll instead ask this board if they can ask a specific question or a series of questions of our potential presidents, which is simply what have they done to work on their own personal journey towards anti-racism? And then what have they done in their career to not just work on creating a more anti-racist campus where they've been, but what financially have they done to back that goal? Thank you. Thank you. Bef yes. Hi, I'm Annie Clark. I'm a member of the staff in University Advancement, and I'm also an alumna through the um, degree program, um, MBA of 2021. So in practical terms, uh, as I typically see it, I think we need a president that can put the Spartan shirt on and really feel what is being an SJSU Spartan president that can lead this ship in the right direction to the great waters. Um, somebody that can address head on the past issues and the current challenges that have stained the name of San Jose State and derail away the direction of the great mission of the university. Um, who can have the really fight for the resources that we need because operating on a strapped position is not giving the students all the support that they need to succeed. And in the end, the students become members of the staff, members of the faculty, members of the community, members of government. So we all become one big family. And we need a president that can see what the staff contributes to achieve the mission, what the faculty can uh, contributes because we all need each other. So we need somebody that can see the big picture and be seeing the weeds as well on how everything connects to achieve the mission of the university. Someone that has integrity, commitment, and vision. Thank you. Thank you so much. Before we go to the comments um, via Zoom, is there anybody else who would like to make a comment? Okay. Seeing none, I'm now going to ask um, Trustee Secretariat Shannon Matthews if she would open the um, Zoom comments. And again, those individuals will have two minutes and the, um, Mrs. Matthews will let them know when their time is up. Thank you. Our first three speakers, Yassine Sharif, Tamar Samarchian, and Jamal Williams. Yassine, you may begin. Yes, hello everybody. Um, thank you for giving us all the opportunity to um, get a look at what it's, uh, what the presidential search is gonna look like and um, uh, an opportunity to ask you guys questions. Um, so the first comment that I wanted to make uh, was uh, an observation that I, I made uh, a couple weeks ago while I was doing my research. Um, but the past uh, for I think several decades, uh, the past presidents have had some sort of 
connection with CSUs or have been selected from uh, another CSU or within the uh, um, within the system. But there has been no past president that I've seen who has come out uh, who has come externally come out externally from the uh, CSU system, and I think that we're missing a lot of uh, uh, expertise and opportunities to learn from people who have not uh, served uh, within this system. So I guess my comment, uh, well, that is, that is my comment. And um, I, I would be really proud and uh, interested to see someone uh, selected outside of the CSU system for a president. Thank you. Thank you. Tamar, you may begin once you unmute your audio. Thank you so much for the opportunity and thank you for um, holding this session. I would echo what my colleagues have said. I do think there is a significant need for stability in this role. San Jose State is a great institution. I think we have great potential and I think we need someone who would be committed to San Jose State, to its values and to staying here um, and continuing the great work that we've done in the past few years. I also want to echo um, that we need someone who will continue the commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion efforts that have started, um, and we still have quite a ways to go, and so I think continuing to shed light in that space is important. And I think to me one of the most important things about leadership and the president is open communication. And I think it's critical that we have very strong communication between the president's office and other constituents on campus. Again, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Jamal, you may begin. You know, it's good, everybody. I actually really didn't even have a comment, but since I'm on, I would just like to echo the sentiments of my colleagues. Um, disappointed with the makeup of the committee. I feel like we should have some black and indigenous representation, especially since uh, we saw that racial change happen throughout the, 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 the nation and the world. Uh, on the backs of black lives so that to have no black people representing the campus is pretty disappointing um i support chris and what he said um in the in the makeup and constituency uh and missing missing divisions um, it's pretty disappointing as well um i'm excited for the people who are on the search committee i i i believe that you all will do a good job but i i would have liked to seen it con constitu uh, constituted uh situated differently um I also just would like to say that um, I think we we definitely need somebody who's going to be bold, um, bold, especially in the areas of uh, racial justice. And, and I really would love to see somebody who, who prioritizes um, our, our local city and, and, and uh, how San Jose State makes makes the city of San Jose a better place, a more just place. Um, so I'm. I'm those are, those are the things I would, I would champion. Thank you. Our next three speakers, Rashad Wiley, Ed Benson, and Megan Chang. Rashad, please accept the unmute request and you may begin. Yeah, I wanna echo what, what Jamal said again, yeah, have, have more representation uh, with the uh, indigenous and the black communities and, and people of color. <laughs> And I, I do trust the, the, the process of this of the review. I'm going to San Jose State uh, alumni myself. I'm also on the uh, San Jose State um, board, um, the uh, alumni association board. And uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you. Ed, please accept the unmute request and you may begin your comments. I'm an alum of San Jose State. I'm on the board of the Lucas College of Business and Graduate School, and I'm a nonprofit executive. Um, one can hardly pick up a paper today without reading about the explosion of student debt and loans. I believe a cause of this has been raising tuitions as universities have become accustomed to raising, hiring people, raising costs, and simply passing it on to the students. I would like to see the university president, a person who has attacked this situation and been able to reduce costs 
while continuing to maintain the thrust of the mission of the organization. Thank you. Thank you. I've been asked to skip the next speaker, so we're going to move on to Denise Dawkins, Alec Castellano, and Julia Curry. Denise, please accept the unmute request and you may begin. Um, I really didn't have any comments. I just want to echo um, for the people I had just talking. Thank you, um, Ed, for bringing up student debt. Thank you. And it looks like we lost one of our speakers. So Julia, please accept the unmute request and you may begin. Good afternoon. My name is Julia Curry Rodriguez. I am a professor of Chicana and Chicano studies at SJSU since 2000. I am one of three state senators representing our campus at the ASCSU, and I am the 2019 Wong family recipient for distinguished service. I advocate for undocumented immigrant and race and ethnic students and faculty. Many people have said already many of the concerns and interests that I had, so I want to add that SJSU desperately needs a leader who holds impeccable equity and ethical values, a leader who is honest, respectful, and inclusive with a mindset to equity. This person must engage all communities and allow them a true role in decision making. It is important that a president does not take the position as giving them permission to create administrative reorganization that changes levels on campus, which result in consolidating power and authority in very few people's hands. Some of the practices also reinforce pay dis disparities among faculty and staff. Lastly, our next leader must be true and effective in recognizing and acting from a place that acknowledges the reality of the cost of living experienced by all employees and students at SGSU. Equity and practice is essential for our leader. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Our next three speakers, Neil Ordinario, Gordon Douglas, and Gregory Wolcott. Neil, please accept the unmute request and you may begin. Um, I apologize, I didn't, I don't know how I got um, listed as uh, as one of the comments. I was just here that day. Okay, great. Our next speaker is Gordon Douglas. Gordon, you may unmute and begin your comments. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Gordon Douglas. Uh, I'm an assistant professor of urban and regional planning. I'm also the director of the Institute for Metropolitan Studies. Um, I really appreciate the opportunity to speak here and have some input on this process. Uh, I just want to say, you know, in addition to, to lifting up some of the comments we've heard already about the need for uh, a diversity of voices on this committee, uh, committee, and also what one of my faculty colleagues said earlier um, about the importance, um, continuing the important emphasis on RISCA uh, at our university. Um, you know, I, I say that as someone who has, has published a book and. and published many, many scholarly articles, is working on another book, and uh, looks forward to, to being able to spend the time that it takes to get that done, and uh, have always included my, my uh, students and graduate students on, in that work, so uh, again, emphasizing that work uh, and the importance of that. Um, and finally, one of the really exciting things, and I say this now as, as director of the Institute for Metropolitan Studies, uh, over the last few years has been seeing the university's ability um, that really has in part come from the president's office uh, to engage with uh, the city of San Jose and the wider Bay Area and really become a, a, a respected voice um, in these issues around the Bay Area, uh, urban issues and the issues that are, that are challenging our communities and our cities. Um, I'd really love to see that continue and I think it's important that we have a, a strong voice uh, and an interested voice in the president's office uh, in that sort of engagement. Thanks very much. 
Thank you. Gregory, please accept the unmute request and you may begin. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Greg Wilcott. I'm the AVP for Student Success in the Division of Student Affairs here at San Jose State. And in this role, I uh, supervise our four identity-based success centers. Uh, my colleagues here on the call have already echoed what my comments were going to be, which was just to expand the diversity of membership on the committee. Thank you. Thank you. We have one more speaker that just joined us. Melody Mo. if you could accept the unmute request, you may begin your comments to the committee. Melody, you may begin your comments. Can you hear me? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can hear you. Right, I was just saying that I'm so sorry, I don't have any comments yet. Okay. Thank you. Trustee Steinhauser, that concludes our virtual public comments. Thank you so much. Um, is there anyone um, who would like to speak? If you would, um, please come up and we will start. And just as a reminder, um, we have uh, two minutes, so you may begin. Thank you so much for having the opportunity to speak with you. My name is Tamsin Burke. I'm the Executive Director of Student Union Incorporated, which is a 5013C auxiliary on this campus. As you all know, auxiliaries are critical to the work of the, of the university in terms of its support of the mission, um, and it's recognized within the 23 campuses. Typically, organizations include foundations and manage contracts and grants or gifts, the university, enterprise organizations that run bookstores, food services, associated student organizations, student unions as well. These 5013C organizations provide services to their campus in various ways, and they have uh, their own governing bodies, financial structures, personal, personnel operations, and by nature, they are uh, hybrids. They are private entities that are nestled within the framework of the public structure and are subject to both California corporate law as well as education code and the policies of the CSU. The auxiliaries enhance the capabilities of the campus in their areas of property, purchase or management, procurement, investments, and business administration by providing alternative and public procedures undertaking entrepreneurial business risk. The purpose is to assist in the exemplary service and programs facilities and to further the educational mission of the campus. It is important that our new president understands the auxiliary model and how that supports the campus and is an advocate for that particular group. Thank you. Thank you so much. Is there anyone else that would like to speak? Okay, seeing none, I want to take this opportunity to thank all the members of the San Jose community for sharing your thoughts with us about the professional qualifications, experiences, and the personal attributes you feel the next president should be, as well as the comments that you made about the makeup of our committee. It is critical that everyone lends their voice to this process uh, today and throughout the search. Therefore, in addition to the comments speakers shared today, we will welcome and encourage feedback through additional avenues. You may provide written comments via a survey on the San Jose State Presidential Search website. You can access the site by going to the campus homepage at sjsu.edu. Any comments provided will be aggregated and reviewed by the search committee as we compile feedback on the qualities and the skill sets set for the next president. You may also provide nominations by emailing presidentsearch at calstate.edu. I'll say that again. You can email the nominations to presidentsearch at calstate.edu. This email is also listed on the campus's presidential search website. Both of these links have also been listed on our screen um, in today's open forum and in our livecast. If there is feedback you wish to provide in a confidential manner, you may also send your comments to presidentsearch at calstate.edu 
and that feedback will be provided to the committee. Thank you again, committee members, for agreeing to serve on this uh, important committee and serving in this process. This is one of the most important things we do, choosing a new president. And we heard great comments today from the members of the audience that were in person, as well as via Zoom. Uh, we all take this charge very seriously, and we are very committed to the, doing this and to doing a great job. I want to thank everyone for sharing with us your comments and for being here and taking time this afternoon out of your busy schedules. Um, again, thank you so much, and the committee will now proceed to closed session. Thank you so much.